What up guys, today we're gonna to test to see if a four port boost control solenoid is functioning properly. Sorry if I'm blowing cold air into your face, but it is cold in the garage. So I have my four port boost control solenoid here. <clears throat> it is a Mac 46 amp AA1JBA1BA. Um, this is exactly what um, Hondata, you know, four port boost control solenoids are. They just put a sticker over the top of here. Uh, it, it is a Mac and basically um, what we're going to be doing is taking some compressed air which I have hooked up here with my compressor and flowing it through this side of the um, poor poor boost control solenoid which is the in as you can see it says on the side so, and this is the vent and what should be happening is air uh, should be passing through to this side because this side this B side is the part that goes to the bottom of the wastegate to cause the wastegate to crack open. And the top part is what sends the air um, to the top of the wastegate. So if this is actuating properly uh, with Hundata, it'll be directing the incoming air up through here and out there as it meters it off down here. All right, so I have torn this thing down and basically as you saw before, you had your vent up top here, you had your in on this side, then you had the top of the wastegate and the bottom of the wastegate, okay? And basically what I was having was when I was doing a boost leak test, I could hear the wastegate opening. So basically what was happening is air was coming in to the boost control solenoid and going out to the bottom of the wastegate causing it to crack open. So what did I do? I went and chopped this thing open because I wanted to see how it worked. So removing all of those pieces and taking off the top which has the uh, electromagnet on it that basically has a, a pin that or a piston that goes in and out. Looking in here you can see all of these passages and basically the air can go into these passages and there is a piston which is this guy that rides up in the inside of here and they are capped and that piston is kept in there by this piece it's got a black looking plastic cap that is a retainer to hold the spring up and then you have this top piece that looks similar but keeps the top of the piston exposed like that it's got the little hole in the end and basically what happens is as your boost control solenoid is pulsating based on whatever duty cycle you're at it's causing this piston to shoot down and what that does is it opens up air passages to allow air to flow and if the air is coming in through here and this piston is down that's going to redirect the air up through and out to the top of the wastegate to put pressure on top of your wastegate. Now, as soon as you come off the throttle, basically what happens is this, from being down in this position, shifts back up. And granted, this is happening really fast like this. As this shifts down, um, it lets air up to the top passage. As no electricity goes through boost control solenoid, this should rise back up and this little spring here has a sole responsibility of pushing that piston back up. Now what I found is that after I uh, tested this with some airflow, it was blowing straight across, we're letting airflow through this to the bottom of the wastegate. So that's just the insides. If you are interested on how a four port boost control solenoid works. And the reason that you want to have uh, air flowing from the port in so the supply from the turbocharger, wherever you have it set up, into port B, or I should say out of port B, is because <clears throat> it's gonna create a pulsating effect with boost by gear in order to modulate the wastegate opening and closing to produce the perfect amount of boost set in each gear in boost by gear in Hondata. So essentially what's gonna happen is air will flow in this direction in your in port. It'll flow slightly through your B port and open that wastegate a little bit, kind of keep it open a little bit. And as boost increases, 
um, and boost by gear is clicking this solenoid open and closed, boost is going to increase on top of the wastegate, pushing it closed, <clears throat> and then this will be released. You know, electricity won't go to this anymore. It'll allow that wastegate to pop open again and kind of meter that boost. And that's why you hear this chick, 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 noise um, with this setup. Once um, you understand that, the next thing to move on to is to do the electrical test. And like I said, this is an electromagnet. Um, so there's a little piston up inside here that uh, should go up and down. You'll hear a mechanical click. I have a battery from a Milwaukee that's 18 volts. It's not going to hurt it. You can use a 9 volt battery or two 9 volt batteries and test this. But this side's negative, that side's positive. Listen for that click. So that click is coming from here. Hear that? So now we know that the piston inside of here and the electromagnet are working properly. So this is actually a good uh, sensor, but unfortunately I destroyed it just for you guys. <laughs> um, I had another one in, in the uh, garage here. In fact, I have a three port boost control solenoid in here as well. Um, but I was always just curious to see how this thing worked. Probably could have looked it up on a schematic, but I'm a hands-on kind of guy. So I like tearing stuff apart. Um, but that's pretty much how you test. So just to reiterate, you're gonna go and do your flow test and make sure that air is flowing in the in port through the B port a little bit. Um, and then you can do a further test if you really want to, but you can hook this up to power and then apply air and air should be flowing to the top port here of A. Once that is confirmed as good, then um, you're gonna take and hook this up to some sort of power source and you turn that on and off or apply power and take power away to make sure that this uh, electromagnet is cycling. Um, a three port boost control solenoid is a little bit different. Air should not flow from one side to the other um, when there's no power applied, but when there is power applied, it will flow directly across. So um, that's all I got for you guys today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I tore up a $50 max solenoid for science here. Um, but it was fun, I enjoyed it. And I have a new one, so we're good to go. That's it for me, guys. Later. <laughs>